It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Cowboys and the Giants on Sunday night primetime. We are across the Hudson from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Tonight, it's the Sunday night opener of the 2023 NFL season. As it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the New York Giants. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Well, CD, new season is here. Lions and Chiefs got it going on Thursday night. You and I were there. What a scene that was. But now here we are a few days later on Sunday, looking at two teams with great expectations here to begin 2023. It's always fun to get a new season started, isn't it, partner? Because everyone feels like they've got a shot at the defending champs. They think that they can be the new champs. And here we are getting things What a matchup for our first Sunday nighter of the year. The Cowboys and Giants underway in week one. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. And the Giants ready to go now on offense. And under center is the man in possession of a new contract for 2023 and beyond. In his fifth season now, Daniel Jones. Playing for his Giants career, Jones' best season as a starter didn't come with huge numbers as a passer. He was just the guy his team needed him to be, someone who could threaten the defense throwing it, and especially as a runner. Jones wants to throw to start things out here. And his first pass is incomplete. Boy, I tell you, the schedule makers got it right here in week one. A lot of great games today. And another Buffalo and the Jets right here in this very stadium tomorrow night. Won't that be fun? But of these two teams, Charles, Giants and Cowboys, which one do you think is the bigger threat to Philadelphia in the NFC East? As we start here right now, it's got to be Dallas. How explosive are they offensively? Extremely. And on the defensive side of the ball, they take it away from teams. But don't count out the Giants. Their defense, they get after you with a lot of pressure. If their quarterback continues to grow, look out. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be fourth down. On fourth down, Jamie Gillen on to punt for the Giants. Cavante Turpin deep for the Cowboys. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. So the Cowboys ready to go on offense for the first time, and it is their now 30-year-old quarterback, Dak Prescott, who leads the way. Prescott has some things to clean up from last season, leading the NFL with 15 interceptions and only 12 games played. But we can't overlook the good. 23 touchdowns and an 8-4 record as a starter as he led the Cowboys to consecutive postseasons for the first time since 2007. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Second down, Prescott. That's Gallup on the slant. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. So, Charles, this defense in for a tough matchup. What do you think the game plan is here tonight? Well, I think the game plan is the same as most, which is, hey, pass rushers, do your job. Coverage guys, do your job. And the linebackers are going to be a mix. Sometimes they'll drop in coverage. Sometimes they'll pressure the quarterback. But all in all, you never want to let that quarterback get a string of completions going. Because if so, they're hard to deal with, and it makes for a long evening. They run it for the first time with Tony Pollard and able to steer clear of that first tackler as he works his way forward for about four. From just shy of midfield, here's second and six. Prescott to throw him. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Tony Pollard out of the backfield, the intended target, and it'll bring up third down. Now Prescott. and it's incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this 
defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. And back deep for the Giants is Dory Jackson. And yeah, this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that in the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have them all bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as much fun watching teams trying to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down the stretch. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV people. What a great game to sell right out of the gate. Here's Jones on third down. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And he will have the Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. A first down carry for Barkley. Oh, a heck of a move. Man. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. The one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. On second down, here's Barkley. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. It's a pickup of six. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Sterling Shepard, but it's going to be second down. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And a five yard gain gets him to the 42. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. I also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Ready to roll for the second quarter from MetLife Stadium. The Giants with the football. Already a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive, but right now they need five yards on this third down try. He's got his target. That's complete. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at it and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it, sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Now Jones. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. 
multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. First down, Prescott. Throw left side complete. That's Ferguson. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 36 yards on the play. This offense has been slow to get started, but that play will certainly give them a little bit of life. Maybe the late wake-up call that they had been seeking. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into giant territory. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. Here's Prescott. He throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. But there's an incompletion partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Pollard will take it up the gut. Oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. He's going to find Gallup here complete. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. It's now second and six at the 18-yard line. Prescott. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Oh, they were so close. That close to their first points of the game. Just needed to hang on just a second longer, but he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender. a touchdown but multiple flags down so let's sort this out illegal touching offense so erase the red zone score they'll have to dial that one up again and you know how difficult it is to strike in the red zone because things are a little bit more condensed you gotta go back to their play chart and see if they can dial up another one and his kick is good and the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. Well, both teams kind of feeling each other out here. And now after three drives, we have a score with that field goal. Yeah, they're still waiting for their breakout drive to come to them, all right? They're using the playbook well. They're looking for that extra section that says touchdowns instead of field goals. But they'll take the three for now and try and get set up for more later. And New York set to take the field. This one a little slow to get cooking. Just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. Second quarter, two minutes remain. 3-0 our score. We remind you that coming up at the half, we'll hand things off to Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll have scores from earlier today, plus a look ahead as well, so you won't want to miss that. A lot going on here in week one. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked 
picked off by Stephon Gilmore. Inside the 20. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. you got to know as a quarterback, it's going to be tough to outthink this guy in the defensive backfield. He's been at it 11 years now, so he knows all the ins and outs of the position. And he's in the right spot there to come up with the interception. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And now following that turnover, they've got an opportunity here to try to cash in with good field position before intermission. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. There's Prescott. Toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. Credit the Giants defense that time in pass coverage. Fourth down. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. And his kick here is good. And they're able to double their lead just before half. It's 6-0. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Giants now going to take over late in this first half. And with a little under a minute remaining, we'll see if they want to try to put a drive together, possibly even take the lead here with a touchdown. Jones slow, complete here to Waller. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Oh, he's going to look downfield for Barkley. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I believe I'm following their logic. Take the big shot downfield, loosen things up. You're hoping to get some points on the board before the half. Maybe now you come back and throw some underneath stuff in order to make sure you get a completion. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. I spy a couple of extra defensive backs on the field for Dallas. Cowboys in the dime on third. Throwing Jones. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, they've been back on the heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. well this is a half for not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. Back to throw again. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Not many boos just yet from this home crowd, but they may be starting soon as I'm starting to detect an uneasy murmur through this crowd. This offense, they've been lifeless in this first half. And now here's another punting situation and a fourth down. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with only nine seconds remaining, or not much time, we'll see how they play this. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we've reached halftime here in our initial Sunday night telecast of the new season. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL.
next, we head off to check out another game. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. All right, coach. Thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. But we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And it's a pretty good return here as we'll get this up to the 29. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and ten. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down, Play action now, Prescott. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Dexter Lawrence able to bust free and get to the quarterback. He's certainly one of those quarterbacks that can burn you with his mobility, but that time able to hem him in and get him to the ground. Perfect descriptor right there about how they kept him in the pocket. Excellent job of containment, but they were still able to continue to bring such strong pressure without letting him escape. But how about those guys in the secondary as well? Kept the coverage tight, plastered to the receivers, and left no real options for him to throw him downfield. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. He's getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Bobby Okereke running in and bringing him down. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely. Going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels? They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. To throw is Prescott. Swinging this out for Pollard. And he gets this only to the 44-yard line. Not near enough to keep the drive alive. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tackles. We'll give you the short stuff. And just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. And he'll get this one way up, just shy of the 45-yard line. Holding offense. So the big gain, all for naught for the offense. That yellow flag is going to bring it back. Oh, what a tough look for the offense because they see all that yardage lost and that ball's walked back and then some behind the original line of scrimmage. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 23 yards to pick up there. But give them credit for a good read right there because they read the man coverage on the right side and sent the tight end a few steps down the field and then angled him to the left on a crossing route. He was able to get enough separation on this play to turn it into a nice game. Up the middle with Barkley. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. 
That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Jones and Shepard with a connection there for Giants' first down. They'll give it to Barkley off the option play. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Well, an unfortunate time for the penalty there. That cancels out a positive play from this offense. Well, not to sound too trite or too accepting, but you and I both know it happens. You got to accept it and move on. Yardage, you got to get back. Focus on the next play and move on. 52 yards rushing for him now to this point. Shepard will go in motion right. Second down, here's Barkley again. And he'll be taken down after a minimal pickup, and that will take us to the end of quarter number three. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit four of seven. This is third and nine. A short one here, secured by the tight end, Waller. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 38-yard line. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Even though this offense doesn't have a single point to its name, they're not totally out of this game yet. A touchdown here, they could be in business. And how about that last play? Now they've got momentum going, so you know I'm a big advocate. Get back on the line of scrimmage. Throw another play out of while you've got them rocked on their heels. Flexing his muscle at the 30. They find some open field here. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. Back to throw. Jones. And he's got it. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Barkley will take it in for the Giants' touchdown. Well, he put the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with the touchdown run. Graham Gano on for the extra point. And he's one for one on the new year as his kick is good. The 10 play drive that time. And it ends with a Saquon Barkley touchdown run. Kevante Turpin now from his end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The time to get another look at this Cowboys offense. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Throwing. Prescott. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. What an opening weekend it's been already. Could the best finish be coming here on Sunday night? We'll find out as we come up on a first and ten. Looking to throw. Prescott. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. On second down, it's Pollard. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame whooping has turned into results. 
Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 42. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. On first and ten, Prescott. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 21. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Gallup with the catch there and coming off of a tough 2022. He was still recovering from a torn ACL and ended up with the fewest yards in the season of his career. The Cowboys know he's capable of much more as he showed there. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. So give them the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30. So I'm now you don't march that. off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. Now first and goal. Now a give here to Pollard. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. On second and go, here's the option. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. This crowd doing all they can. Here's third and goal. Now Dak. And this is going to be incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. And his kick is right there. It's good. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. Big kick right there to give him the lead in the fourth, but there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? Post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they scored too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. So now Jones and the Giants down nine to seven. A minute 12 to go. This is only week one of the season, folks. Get strapped in as they come up here first and ten. And that will complete to Hodgins. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save the timeout. Here's Jones. And that is incomplete. He was unable to complete it there. And just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is it just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Now Jones. That is incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Fourth down, 10 yards to go. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. 
And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of blocking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, that, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. They've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds left to go in the game. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. He's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. On third down, it's Pollard. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. That kick, by the way, Charles, a career long. But we did watch him in pregame, and he hit from this distance, so not a surprise. But there still is something exciting about it, carrying it over from practice and pregame to actually doing it in live action. This taken in right around the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. So now all eyes shift to the Giants, trailing by five. 30 seconds to go. They've got to go the full 80 yards, and they've got to do it quick as they come up on first down. To throw is Jones. To Barkley on the check down. And that's not going to help a whole lot. Maybe four yards on first down. Second and six coming up. Jones. Throw out wide is incomplete. This offense has had its troubles moving the ball all night. So now you get in this situation, hard to imagine that suddenly they're going to start clicking and moving the ball downfield. Jones. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. A short game that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, partner, that'll do it. You know, these week one primetime games, they always seem to have a little bit more electricity, a little more anticipation, a fun one tonight, and a lot of fun ones that we have on the road ahead. And partner, I love the word you just used there, electricity. Things were crackling out there, weren't they? And let's face it, both of these teams came in with the 